Welcome back to our magic square project. In this video, we're going to create a method to solve our magic square. So we'll say public void solve. And now we're just going to go back to the rules um, of our algorithm that we set up in our lecture video on how to solve magic squares. So we're going to use a for loop to walk through each of the cells in the square. And we'll say int i is equal to 2. Now the reason it's 2 and not 1 is because up here in the constructor, we already set the position of the first number. So we'll start our loop at 2. And then as long as we are, our count is less than the matrix size, plus 1, we'll count up. Okay, so first of all we're going to check if we need to wrap around. through the opposite side. So if, for instance, if we are at zero, or if we're less than zero, then we need to wrap around to column two in a three by three. So we'll say if row minus one is less than zero, then we need to say the row is equal to the size of the square minus 1. So 3 minus 1 in the case of a 3 by 3. So it would be 2, so we're wrapping around to column 2. Else, our rule is that we want to go back a row. So we'll say row minus minus because we want to go up um, to fill in a square. Okay, so the next rule is we'll check if we need to wrap to the opposite column. In fact, there should be row, not side, up here. So let's say if column plus 1 is equal to the size of the matrix. on one line because it's not very complicated, then we need to set the column to zero. So if we are at column two, so column two plus one is equal to the size, which is a three by three, then we know we're at the right hand side of a matri our matrix, three by three um, magic square. We need to go around to the other side to column zero. Else, we want to add to the column number, so we're going to go to the next column. So we'll just say column plus plus, semicolon. And then we need to if check if the row is empty so that we can add a number to it. So if the square is empty, we're going to fill it with the next number. So let's say if square at row and column is equal to zero, and, and it means it's empty, then we're going to set the square at the row, that row and that column to the next number, which is i, because we started our loop at two. So that's going to give us where we're going to put the number 2. Then our rule is, is that if the position or square is not empty, then we go back to where we started.
and move one row down. I'll just go ahead and make this a multi-line comment here. So I'll just take these out and add as slash asterisk and asterisk slash. Okay, so how do we program this one? So we'll say else, this is our else, and then we're going to say row is equal to last row, because this is where we need to remember where our last row was, and column is equal to last column. And then within this else statement, we're going to say if the row plus one is equal to the size of our magic square, then we're going to go to the opposite side, so row is equal to zero. Else, we want to count up again. And then the square at that row and column is equal to the next number. And then we finish the else. And then we need to, um, each time we need to make sure that we update last row and last column. So we say last row is equal to row, and last column is equal to column. And then this should end our loop and end our method. So let's go ahead and save that, and we'll compile, make sure we don't have any errors. And it looks like we're good. So let's go down to our two string. Now we need to print out our matrix, and therefore we need a uh, nested loop because we need to print out the rows and the columns. This is like a clock who has minutes and seconds. The inner, um, the second hand has to go around 60 times for the minute hand to change. So the second hand is the inner loop, and the outer, the minute hand is the outer loop. And the same thing happens with the two by two array is that um, we're going to go through each row and then each column. So our Java is row dominated, so our, our outer loop is going to handle the rows and the inner loop is going to handle our columns. So for int i is equal to zero, as long as i is less than the square dot length, we're going to keep counting up. Oops, and I forgot to start my method here. So public string to string, curly brace, and another curly brace down here. We'll go ahead and put in end of method. And this will be end of loop, outer loop. And then we're going to say, for, do the inner loop. So for int j is equal to 0, as long as j is less than the square at position i dot length j plus plus. This is end of inner loop. Okay, so now we're going through the rows and the columns, and we want to print out the square. So we're going to say result plus equals square at position i and position j. Plus, we'll add a tab character so that our numbers are not all squished together. So backslash t. And then after we finish each row, then we're going to add a, um, we need to add a return character. So result plus equals backslash n. So we'll need a result that, um, variable. So we'll say string result is equal to a blank string. Now just for fun, we want to know what the magic number is, or magic constant. So we'll say int magic constant is equal to zero. And then when we're done, 
before we exit our method, we're going to return our result variable, which holds our printout of our square. And we're also going to um, add a magic constant, colon, plus magic constant. And um, so let's hit save and compile. Now, one thing that you could do um, is I used I and J, but you could certainly use row and column. So if you wanted to do that, we could say row here. Int row is equal to zero. As long as the row is less than this, the length of the square, we're going to go to the next row. And then we could use column where J is, now this would be row, and we're going to count up column, and then it's here at row and column. So some people find using row and column um, easier variables to keep track of than I and J. Okay, so let me save this and compile again to make sure I don't have any errors. Great. So in the next video, we are going to um, make a main or a runner for our magic square. See you next time.